Drew Turner, the, the name wrapped around two fellows. The older man, the real man, was Mr. Turner. Of course, we never didn't know his first name. And the Negro that worked for him, we called him Joe. And uh, he trained him to take things to the homes of people that really needed it. Mr. Turner was a man every Negro and every white person in the South knew of him. He had plenty for everything. And he had this Negro, Joe. He raised this Negro from uh, slavery time. I don't know, from what this Joe told my uncle and my uncle told me, he was uh, what we call it in the States, stranded. That means that everybody go off and leave him and uh, somebody come along and pick him up. So this Negro that worked for Mr. Turner, he was left out on the road someplace. And Mr. Turner picked him up and he carried him home. And therefore, he kept him there because uh, Mr. Turner was a man, he, he figured everybody in the world should have some way to live. I know that uh, there's a lot of things that we dig up in the South. It's not no really people that do these things. But we believe in those things, you know what I mean? Uh, that as people in my home, they, they stick a stick in the ground there, and it says, what time is it now? He haven't even got a watch. But he look at that stick, and he tell you, he said, well, I won't say exact, but it's between 12 and 12.30. And you look at your watch, and I'll bet you $100 to a dime is, is, is between that time. He can't get in 30 minutes, in 30 minutes of time, he got it on that stick, sticking in the ground, and he have no watch. So, those people believe in those things. I'm sorry, I gotta see the hands. I'm not one of them.